So we back with another video. Today we got y'all boys with the best swing animations in NBA 2K24. Now when it comes to swing animations, what are swing animations? These are animations for the pretty much builds that are 6 for 5 to 6 for 9. Now with that being said, we're going to give y'all everything in this video from the jump shots, dribble moves, dunks. It doesn't really matter. Guys, do want more videos like this? I can do this video particularly for the guards. I can do this particularly for the bigs. You guys do want that. Just like the video. Simple as that. Subscribe if you're new. Um, if you didn't know, today is my birthday. This is recorded in the future. I don't know if I will be uploading two things today. I may. I may not. I don't know. But yeah. Um, you guys do want more, just make sure to like the video. Subscribe if you're new. No more talking, though. All that out the way. Let's hop into it. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so let's just hop straight into it. So when it comes to the best jump shots in NBA 2K24 for the swings. Now, we got a lot to go over when it comes to the bases. Now, I'm going to be honest. It's a couple of them you can go with. You can go with the JT Thors. If you want a JT Thor but have a little bit better, like, stats, Ben Shepard is the exact same thing, but you get a little bit better stats. Now, when it comes to some other ones that you can also go with, Gordon Hayward is a decent one. Um, but the ones that I personally would recommend the most in my opinion the best one in the game is Torian Prince In my opinion, this is the best base in the game. You want a big green window another one right above it Michael Porto jr. Michael Porto jr. Is really really decent. I would recommend this very highly now for both of these You need pretty decent stats. You need an 81 for this you need an 86 for that So that's just really what it is now if you guys want another one, but it's really more so on the lower end of the spectrum for the jump shots and what the requirements is Romeo Langford Romeo Langford is really really solid in this game now another underrated one Honestly, I don't really see a lot of people talking about is Gordon Hayward Gordon Hayward is actually a pretty pretty decent one as well now I personally like the other three a little bit more but Gordon Hayward is another little backup jump shot that you can say on the ends of the JT Thors the Ben Shepherds that I think are gonna kind of be gain popularity as the year goes on but yeah um, Romeo Langford Torian Prince and Michael Porter Jr. are the ones I personally would recommend. Now, when it comes to releases, releases is very interesting this year because you can go a lot of different ways. So I got tiers in, in this aspect. I think the best release in the game is uh, Oscar. But I think the best secondary release in terms of getting the green window is Larry Bird. If you're using set point, I think Larry Bird is the best upper two release in the entire game. It makes the, it makes the green window look just so much bigger. So, yeah, I would say Larry Bird. Now, um, if you use jump, you really are more so looking at the base. If you're looking at push, you're more so looking at the combination of the release one and release two. And now that messages together and release. I don't know what the hell you're looking at still to this day. I know push is like when the ball is getting pushed and shit like that. So, yeah, that's just really what it is. So, um, for the up release one, you can go with a lot, a lot of them, in my opinion. Um, I've noticed that Kobe Bryant is really decent, Sadiq Bey. I would say Oscar is the best one for fast. If you want another one that's fast, but you can't get Oscar, I would say Sadiq Bey. But if you want to go with just good, clean, smooth jump shots, I would say the Kobe Bryant. Um, another one that's really fast is the Terrence Mann. But the one I've actually been running lately, especially on this jump shot, is the Brandon Podzink. I don't know how to really say that, so I'm not even going to trouble it. Now, some other good releases you can run, the Scotty Pippins, the Kyle Corbis. But, yeah, this is what I've been running lately, the Romeo Langford, Pazinkas, and Larry Bird. Hopefully, I am saying bro name. But, yeah, I'm going to go max release speed, and I go 75, 25. That's what I've been running. Now, I kind of do go 85, 15 sometimes, 60, 40, 50, 50, depending on what other releases you do go with. Um, and you could also do this with the Torian Prince and it'd be really good. But this is what I've been running really for the most part. So I can run this on all my builds. Whether I'm on my 6'6 six, six, or my 6'8. It's really just that simple. Right, so simply more so on the jump shots. Let's go over the fades. Now when it comes to the best fades. I'm going to go over at the end of the video. The, all the animations that you do get for hitting starter 3. I'm pretty sure other people will make videos on that. But I'll probably put that in the, like, the animation videos for the next couple ones that I actually do drop. If I do drop any. But yeah with the dribble pull up. I think the best dribble pull up in the game for uh, 6 foot five to six for nine i'm messing with kobe right now kobe fade is really nice tyler hero is really really meta so i know a lot of people are probably gonna just run tyler hero and yeah tyler hero he just like that in real uh, let me just not let me stop let me stop all right michael jordan uh michael jordan that's what i've been using last year i may if i'm not messing with the kobe if i ever get like really crazy with the, the three-point fade for real i probably will go back to michael jordan but as of right now, I am running Kobe. Another good one that I think is really actually even arguably some of the best one in the game, the normal two fade. So, yeah, that's 
that's the that's dribble pull-ups or fade animations in the game. Um, spin jumper, I'm gonna do this real quick. You only really need normal or pro. I'm running pro because, okay, this is how I break it down. Normal if you're a real shot creator and you're doing a lot of spin jumpers, but if you're only really doing maybe one a game, or not even really using it every game, just using it, laying the shot clock for a bailout, I think pro is the better one of the two. All right, next is the hop jumper. I'm running Tyler Hero. I think Tyler Hero is arguably one of the best hop jumpers in the entire game. I'm really, I'm not even gonna troll you. So yeah, I think Zach Levine is cool. You can go with the pros or the normal two, but I think if I'm going with any of them, I'm going with normal, Tyler Hero, or Zach Levine. All right, next is the dribble styles. Now, when it comes to the dribble styles, I would personally recommend, I think Kyrie has the best dribble style in the game. Uh, when Devin Booker drops, it will be the best one in the game. We now know how Michael Jordan is brought. That is now within the starter three. So that's going to be a snippet of what I show y'all at the end. That is now within the starter three. So yeah, for all the people that's wondering where that's at, you need an 89 speed of ball. Now, I don't know what the height requirements. I'm pretty sure it is swing, but that's just what it is. Now, Kyrie, if you're looking at it, you only can get that if you're under six foot five. So you can't even get that on all the builds. Now, um, if you have an 88 speed of ball, you can get that if you're under 6'10". Now, I don't think 6'6 can get that though. So Kobe actually has the best one in the game for uh, 6 foot 5 to 6 foot 9. But I personally would say um, John Moran is decent as well, but I would personally say the Zach Levine, the Magic Johnson, um, the James Harden, those are the three I would recommend. But really main so the Magic Johnson, the Zach Levine, the John Morant, and the Kobe. Those are the ones I would personally recommend. The, in, the utmost. Now, I heard there's like a, a speed glitch in normal, but yeah, I don't know how to do it. So those are the ones I would personally recommend the most. All right, next is the six size ups. Now, when it comes to the six sizes that you can use, I'm gonna be honest, they gave y'all a little bit more options when it comes to six foot five, six nine. I think the Jabba Rant, the Jamal Murray, the Trace McGrady, the De'Aaron Fox are all very usable options. Um, they even added some more new ones, but for the most part, those are the ones I personally recommend. I think Jalen Suggs is just a little too slow, especially with the way people are poking. You don't want nothing to be too exposed on this game. So yeah, uh, Dwayne Wade was was a popular one for a little bit of time last year. I think though Jamal Murray is uh, better if you like dribbling still, but if you want to come up with your escape moves, I think John Morant is better. All right, next is the best regular breakdown combo. I would say you got the Kobe, you got the De'Aaron Fox, and you got the Lonzo Ball. Those are the ones I would probably recommend the most. Um, D'Angelo Russell too. And yeah, those are the ones I probably recommend the utmost. All right, next is the aggressive breakdown combo. And again, I would probably recommend the Ray for Austin, the Kobe Bryant, the Jamal Murray. Um, the John Moran is cool, but yeah, I've really more so run Ray for Austin, but I am running Kobe right now because I've been labbing a little bit. But yeah, I, I've run Ray for Austin the most. Uh, Kobe's cool. Jamal Murray's cool. John Moran's cool. They all pretty much cool. They're not, not really none of them too crazy to me, to be honest. All right, next is the escape move. Now, shout out to whoever that was that put me onto this in that dribble animation video. But with that being said, um, De'Aaron Fox is amazing, top tier. Um, another one that's really going to be popular this year is Trey Young. Another one that I have been using was Kemba Walker before I put on De'Aaron Fox. So all three of these are really, really of the utmost, like, top tier for the 6 foot 5 to 6 9 Now, for the lower requirement stuff, you got the John Morant, you got the Jimmy Butler. Those are the next tier of stuff I probably will personally use. Now, with that being said, um, after that... I probably have to say stuff like the James Harden. I think a lot of people may use James Harden this year. James Harden is cool. And a, a cool thing about James Harden and Paul George, there's no height requirement. It's just ball handle. So if you get the ball handle, you're straight. You're chilling. So yeah, that's pretty cool to me. And yeah, that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty much all of them that I would personally recommend. Oh, Kobe. Some people run Kobe, but I don't really like, I, I don't really use Kobe. Um, if you like Kobe, I guess you can use that as well. <clears throat> Alright, next is the combo moves. I think the Aaron Fox is the best combo move in the game. If you like the Jamal Crawford from the old 2Ks, that's pretty much what this is. Just pretty much that simple. Now, for the crossovers. Now, crossover, in my opinion, the best one in the game right now is uh, Kawhi Leonard. Um, you got the Michael Jordan. You got the De'Aaron Fox. You got the Kobe. But in my opinion, the best one in the game is Kawhi Leonard. I was getting poked a lot with the uh, the Curry, the De'Aaron Fox. And I, I kind of started to test out a couple other ones. I think Kawhi Leonard is the best one in the game. All right, next is the behind the back. Now, if you want to do moving behind the backs, I think De'Aaron Fox is by far the best one in the game. If you want to do explosive behind the backs, I think Jamal Murray is by far the best one in the game. Now, um, one that has just as good of a bi bi uh, explosive behind the back, De'Aaron Rosen, and one that has a decent ex moving behind the back, 
I would say DeMar DeRozan. So if you want the best of both worlds, I say DeMar DeRozan. If you want to just use it for moving behind the backs and get to the rim, easy. De'Aaron Fox, if you want to use one that's good for strictly explosive behind the backs to combo with your eight moves and stuff like that, Jamal Murray. That's really what. That's really how it works. Now, um, in my opinion, another one that's really, really good all around, but it takes a little bit higher requirement to rest, Trey Young, if you want to be able to use that Steezo move, I've said this multiple times. I said this day one, I said this day two, and I said this day like five i don't remember when i dropped the drill move animation video but trey young behind the back yeah simple all right next now for the spins now i've been i'm gonna be honest 2k y'all patched the spin the spin backs so i'm not even thinking about basic no more but with that being said i think the demar Rosen, the jamal murray those i don't remember why i bought tatum i don't think tatum is that good but yeah jamal murray this the demar Rosen are the two best ones in my opinion in the entire game um, but I'm running Jamal Murray right now because it is like a little hezzy spin at the same time. So with that being said, that's what I've just been running. So I, I like that. All right, next is the hezzy. I'm going to be honest. Hezzy is a really good animation this year. Um, I got the Kobe. The Jimmy is pretty decent. The Demar is pretty decent. I think the Ant is pretty decent. I think the Jamal Murray pretty decent. I was running Chris Paul because he got that little... He got the little sham guy in and out, I guess you could say. I don't really know what you want to call that, but it's not really that good in game, I'll be honest. I would say Jamal Murray, the Ant, the Jamar, the Jimmy, the Kobe are the new ones I've been testing. Um, the Luka, the KD are always pretty decent. Um, and for a little while, I was running John Morant. But yeah, those are the ones I personally would recommend the most in terms of hesitation. All right, next is the moving step back. When it comes to the best moving step back in the game, um, you got a lot to really work with. You got the Luka, you got the John Wall, you got the Chris Paul. Now, this is what I'll say. In terms of combo, like dribble, dribble combos, like to even like help you get to the rim, to help you get open for three, to help you just be able to shoot off anything and you're like not messing up your dribble moves, like you, it's not gonna make you do stupid phase or any stupid animations. I think Luka got it. Now, in terms of being able to do the hop back and be able to combo with your escape moves, I think the John Wall got it. Now, in terms of having everything comboed into everything, I would say the Chris Paul guy. So you really got those three that you can really work with. I think Kimba's actually pretty decent as well, though. You got the Zach Levine. You got the Vince Carter for, like, bigger, bigger, big. So, like, if you're a big, you can use this as well. And then you got the stuff like the Jimmy Butler. But I think the best three easily are Luka, Chris Paul, and John Wall. And then last but not least, the triple threat style. The triple threat style I personally would have to recommend is going to be the Kobe, the Steph Curry. Now, I think the Steph Curry is the best one. I was only really using Kobe because they don't have Michael Jordan in the game. Um, the starter three dropped. I don't think bro even looked at all the animations. They may have Michael Jordan in there. I will say this right now. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I've never really seen anybody really use Kobe Fade um, for real like that consistently. I think if, even if you're a big, people was using Dirk. But some of them animations are animations that I really use. And when it came to animation, I don't really watch a lot of people. I, for the most part, the people I play against, they don't really use the same animations as what I personally would recommend or use. Or I feel like the popular ones would just be the popular ones. Some of them animations was iffy. But I swear on everything. If Michael Jordan triple their style is a starter three, 2K, you can't hide it no more. You watch the videos for the animations. It's really just that simple. And you patch it. So, I'm going to be honest, that's really wild that y'all did that. Nobody even uses triple threat styles like that, like, consistently. Like, it's a small percentage of the community that really even use these joints. And it's really underrated, and it's really good this year. So, the fact that you really may have even did that is kind of grimy and kind of lame. But, yeah, best triple threat style in the game, Stephen Curry. All right, best dunk package in the game. This is going to be nice and sweet and simple. Uh, when it comes to the best dunk package in the game for the 6 for 5 I would just put on the LeBron and put that alongside the quick drops. Now, um, I'm going to get back into going into for unblockable because, I'm going to be honest, last year, block, getting your shot blocked wasn't that big of a deal. This year, it kind of is. So, you're either going to go with athletic one-handers off one, actually, not off two. You're going to go with off one. Or you're going to go with, like, a Clay Thompson. I used to tell this all the time. The uh, Manu is decent. But the Clay Thompson is decent. The Scotty is really decent because you get really high up there. The Clyde is really decent. The Clyde just has an animation in it I just hate a lot. So I would more so say the Clay. I think CJ McCollum even has some pretty decent ones as well. So yeah, CJ McCollum. Did James Harden have some decent ones as well? Yeah, James Harden, I'm going to be honest, as a whole, has some really good animations as well. That's a, like a one bad animation, but for the most part... It's gonna get the job done. But the reason why I think LeBron is still the best is because look how far look how far LeBron takes off in comparison to like a CJ McCollum. Like comparison to a Clay Thompson. Like you're pretty much at the rim. You know what I'm saying? James Harden. But LeBron, you're getting them limitless takeoff like far jumps. So like that's really why I say that. When it comes to like the quick drop off two. 
or not the quick draws off too, but the back scratches. You're taking off from far. Now I'm gonna be honest, these some of them you can take off from pretty close. I can't lie, but there are some far takeoff launches. So yeah, that's really what I would say. Now content dunks, I might have a video coming out very soon on that. Just know that. But yeah, you want to put on as many as possible. I only get the pro in this build, but you can go with the elite, the pro. I, I'm gonna be honest. If I have to rank which one I think is the best, I think the elite off two are better than the off one. So I don't even think the 96, 86 is even really worth it like that. But yeah. Um, that's just really what it is. Best standing dunks, if you are six foot five, I would just go with the two hand under basket regular. And if you were going for lobs, I would say um, you can really throw on any of these. Pro has the st like the standing lobs. Elite and Zion are cool, but the reason why I don't run pro with the Elite and Zion because the Elite and Zion give you faster animations. Then you got pro, pro out contact alley oops. The Elite, I would just put on as many of them as you can so you can get more contact alley oops because it's not really dunk meter base but even with the with the dunk meter being as nerf i would put on as many of the contact dunk packages as possible so that you can get just a little bit more frequency on your context easy it's that simple it is that easy all right next is going to be the layup animations now when it comes to layup animations um layup wise um i'll be honest i can really give y'all the gas on the layups I, i'm gonna be honest when y'all see the 6 8 bill y'all will understand y'all will understand y'all will understand but yeah um uh, the ant the Jimmy's tough, super tough. The Demar tough, super tough. Um, those are the three I would definitely have to recommend the most. Kobe is cool, but everybody's not gonna be able to get Kobe. But I don't even know if it's better than the Jimmy's, the Ant or the Demar's. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I would definitely argue the Demar is the best bang for your buck in the game because you only need an 81. Um, and that's just what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave it at that. I am gonna rank the layups though. Just know that's coming, but just know layups in this game tough super tough all right next is gonna be the pass style now i'm gonna also have a video for the pass style coming out this year just like i did last year but this is gonna be a little bit more interesting this year because um with that being said i think that at every tier you have a good a really really good pass style that you even if you have a higher pass accuracy it's still gonna be good at this pass it's gonna be a good pass style for every pass accuracy i, I don't know what i was gonna say but yeah i don't want to tweak on nothing but yeah i run the months on this build on my build that has the hall of fame dimer I'm running Trey Young right now, but I've I've run Nikola Jokic, I've run Sabonis. Um, I'm still testing to see what's like the best of the best. There's still some I just haven't really used, like the De'Aaron Fox, like the Damian Lillard. But for the most part, as of right now, I'm really liking the Trey Young. I'm really liking the Jokic. I'm really liking the Sabonis. The uh, now I will say on the lobs, once you get to a certain pass style, they start doing like these cup lobs that are really annoying in Jokic and Halliburton. Now I will be honest, when I, before I had the ability to built that had that have a pass style it, or a pass accuracy it just wasn't doing that even when i had the 80 pass accuracy to have Jokic, it just wasn't doing that so i don't really know how to feel about that but yeah for the most part those are the pass styles i can really recommend as of right now but as i learn more we may be able to find even more um jason williams is cool it just does a little too much sometimes all right and i almost forgot now i'm gonna put y'all on game now i honestly know for a fact what's the best uh, motion styles in the game now all the motion styles I use for is basically strictly for defense So these are gonna be the best defensive motion styles in the game So best one in the game that you can use on pretty much any build you can't use it on bigs But best one that you can pretty much use on any build is elite now I'm also have one that you can use on swings and big so if you're a big and you actually did just happen to watch this video I got some for you now elite is really really good But one thing I want to say about motion styles um, You can find you some that's good for just being fast but you can also find you something that you can just use for being defensive. Now, I use mine strictly for defense. Now, the next one, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard, in my opinion, is the the one I would recommend the most. I think Kawhi Leonard is just, like, it's obvious. It's Kawhi Leonard. That's the one I'm using. Now, another one that people say is good is Iggy. But I'm going to be honest, bro. He put his hand behind his ass. Like, I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Like, I'm chilling. Like, look how he crossing his feet. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I think that's another one that's going to be popular, but, like, I'm good on it. Like, a lot of people pushing that agenda, I'm good on it. The one I would personally recommend, Justice Winslow. Justice Winslow is a decent one, like, solid. Like, when I was helping my big, my big was trying to figure out what's a good motion style, and I peeped that mo Justice Winslow for whatever reason. He's got to be at least 6'5", so you can get this even if you're a big. I honestly may use this for the year because everybody's going to be using Kawhi, and I want to be a little different, so I may use Justice Winslow. Um... It's a couple other ones that you can go with. The Ben Simmons one is decent. But another one that you can use that's on guards, or not guards, but swings and bigs, where he's at. Um, let me find, bro, real quick. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Draymond Green. Draymond Green is another really solid one. Um, if you want to use one that's going to be swings and bigs, you want to have, like, 
a lock that has one and a big that the same one. Draymond is another good one. And it's actually a really fast one, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. Um, Draymond Green, Kawhi Leonard, Elite, and Justice Winslow are the motion styles I, I recommend. And I honestly almost forgot to give y'all the motion styles. That's a really good thing that took it added in the game. And I really hope they really add more and more as the year goes on. But, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys do want more, like I said, I can do this for the guards. I can do this for the bigs. All you got to do is like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn up the video first on all the videos. I got the builds coming very soon. Um, I think I gave y'all the sixes at the time of me recording this. Like I said, today is my birthday, so I am recording this in the... So this is dropping in the future for me, but it, I recorded this... I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, uh, so I don't know if I dropped the 6-6 six, six before this or the 6-8, but just know if I didn't drop the 6-8 yet. Oh, man. Oh, man, it's, it's eight. All I can say is the bump bill is here, man. The bump bill is here, and it's dropping tomorrow. It's going to be either the 6-6 six, six dropping tomorrow or the 6 eight. I don't know. But, yeah, if y'all do want all these videos, I got the dribble tutorial I got to drop. The content tutorial. A lot of videos I got to drop for y'all, boys. So just like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, man, it's your boy Fizz. Y'all do me, man. <laughs>